Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the DAX Studio application and also I will show you how to connect Power BI data set in DAX Studio. So let's start the video. So to install DAX Studio, you can open your Chrome browser and uh, you can type DAXstudio.org. This page will open and here you can see this DAX Studio 3011 setup.exe installer. So you can click on this installer which is green in color. And after you download this, you can double click and open this and it is very easy to install. You don't have to do anything, just click on install and it will install the application. I'm not going to do this as I already have it installed. Now let me show you how it looks when you open the DAX Studio application. I am going to open it. So this is how it is going to look when you launch the application. It is having a pop-up and it is asking to connect. It is giving us two options, Power BI or SSDT model and tabular server. So this Power BI or SSDT model, this is basically the Power BI reports that is opened in the Power BI desktop. So currently I have a report opened named Superstore Analysis Dashboard and that is why it's taking the report here automatically. So whatever reports are open, you can see those reports from here and click on connect to connect the data set. Now let me tell you what is tabular server. This tabular server is helpful when you want to connect the data set from Power BI service. Now let me show you how to use this option. For that I'm going to go to Power BI service. So currently I'm in Power BI service inside my workspace. I'm going to go to the workspace from which I am going to connect. I'm going to go to this my project workspace. From here I'm going to go to workspace settings and then go to license info. From here you can see this connection link. You can copy it from here and go to the DAX studio and paste it in the tabular server. Now if I click on connect, so it will ask to choose your account and it will get connected. Do not show again and click on OK. So as you can see here, I'm I'm connected to this Superstore analytic data set that is published in the Power BI service. So I can connect to any of these four data set and see the tables and measures inside this data model. To open any measure, I can right click on the measure and say define measure. So you can see the measure expression from here. That is sum of sales for this sales measure. To evaluate anything, you will have to type evaluate and then type the expression and click on run. It will throw error because these measures are returning scalar values that is single value. But inside the DAX studio, you can only return the table values. So to make this value a table value, I can wrap this inside the curly braces. So this is basically a table constructor. It will create a table with this single value that is one row and one column. Now if I click on run, see it is giving me a value. So that was it for this video. Let me know if you want to learn anything else. I hope you found this video useful and stay tuned to see more videos on the DAX studio. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.